Hey guys, this is on Absolutes with a haul video. I just bought seven different perfumes off of FragranceNet and FragranceX.com. And yeah, I'm gonna be opening them in this. So watch this video all the way through. Like, subscribe, comment, mostly subscribe, please. Support, support, support would be great. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? Let's open this stuff. I like to thank my sponsor, my boyfriend, for not getting me anything for Valentine's Day. So I ended up um, using his car to get what? To get myself a present. Yeah, that's how you gotta do it when they don't be listening, ladies. Just do it your dang self. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to open a ton of boxes. Okay, just two. Whoa, almost fell. Two boxes of perfumes that I got for myself for Valentine's Day. Um, most of these perfumes are spring perfumes that were really cheap mostly because um, I want to do a spring collection video. And even though I have a lot of spring perfumes, there's, you know, when you have an excuse to buy more perfume, you just buy more perfume. So that's what I did. <coughs> Ew. That was so gross. <coughs> Sorry, still sick, still recovering. I feel like I should restart this now, but we'll just keep going. It was good. Okay, so first let's go, we'll go in order. I ordered both of these on the same day, Valentine's Day, or the day after Valentine's Day, one of those days, from FragranceNet.com, also known as Fragrance.com, and um, FragranceX.com. Um, FragranceX got here in three days. FragranceNet got here in five days. Um, and you know, I've kind of, that's kind of normal. The when I first ordered from them, it was around um, Christmas and I didn't get them for like over a week and I was very upset about that from both companies. And um, so I think it just depends on when you order, on when you'll actually get it because sometimes I've ordered from FragranceNet.com and I've gotten it within three days, but all just depends. So yeah, let's open it. Um, and also, just a, just a just to let you know, usually in my experience, I find that FragranceNet.com is way, not way. I'm being, I'm exaggerating. Is a little cheaper than FragranceX. And I've also noticed I check the batch codes on all perfumes that I get from each of these places because they're discounted perfumes. And the only. I think, I don't know this for sure. The only reason why they're discounted perfumes is because they're, most of the perfumes that I get are over a year old. But the last, the last, um, purchases I made from both places, FragranceNet.com averaged on a year since it was, since it was created. And FYI, you can check how, how old your perfume is with the batch code. Sometimes it's on the box, usually. It's not most of, it's always on the box, but also sometimes it's also on the bottle. So check that. Um, yeah, so Fragrance Net was usually like a year old in all my perfumes, and Fragrance X was actually older, like almost two years. But I never found anything over two years. Yeah, from these places. And yes, perfume does go bad, which I've realized after like retesting some old bottles I have. Yes. It changes, especially if you don't store it right, which I can actually um, talk to you about in another video if you'd like. But let's get to this. Opening this shite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope you guys couldn't see my address. But it doesn't matter. I'll edit it out, right? Okay. Okay, we're gonna open Fragrance X first, considering they got here first. And because Fragrance Net is way cheaper, not way, I keep saying way, is cheaper, I usually go there first. And if they don't have the bottle of perfume that I want, I go to Fragrance Net. If you guys have any suggestions on other, like better places to get authentic um, perfumes, please let me know. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. This is what I got. 
from Fragrance X. This is Peace, Love, and Juicy Couture. This was like, sorry, there's like, I'm in front of a window and there's a lot of glare. But anyway, hopefully you can see that. I got this for $20, $22. Yes, $22 for a full bottom. Okay, let's open it. I got this because it was cheap and I wanted to, um, you know, have cheap avail options for people who really love perfume and don't want to, don't want to, or can't spend the money, you know, cause not everybody is an, like an addict like me. They just want to smell good. So I wanted to give um, affordable options to people. So this was under, this was 20 bucks about, I will put all the actual prices in the on the cap please pay attention to my captions i i like think i'm hella funny in my captions so read them yeah anyways peace love and juicy couture the bottle is cute it honestly looked jank to me um wow the glare from that window is really not helping my video sorry guys so i'll just hold it like this anyway there's no like glare, but there's snow on the roof in front of me in this window. And it's just like providing a lot of light, which is why I'm in a different angle today. Anyway, so peace, love and juicy couture. This is supposed to be way different than all of their other perfume. Hmm, it smells good. It honestly smells similar to something else I have. Let's just, I'm going to spray inside the box to test it. If you guys want full reviews on any of the perfume, please let me know in the comment section. Hmm. Lily, is there Lily of the Valley in this? It's very floral. Very floral. A little woody. Fresh, very fresh. Very good for spring, I think. I'll also um, tell you guys how old the bottle is on the caption or also in the description. Okay, that smells great. It smells good. It smells light. Perfect for spring. If you're like... If you like florals and woody scents, this would be pretty good for you. Mm. Okay, that's great. 22 bucks. Okay. And then I was hearing a lot about this. Nicki Minaj's Onika. You know, for a long time I was like, it's Onika. And then I realized it's Nicki Minaj, it's Onika for real. And then I heard her song, Onika Tanya. And yeah, that's her real name. So she named this bottle after herself. And from a lot of people, I've heard that this is like her best in the collection. So yes, and it's a full bottle and I'm so excited to open it. I'm hoping that um, I can put these in my spring collection video. Oh, I'll tell you guys and, and test them out to tell you how long they last and all that other good fragrance review. So the box is cute, sleek. Oh, and the bottle is gorgeous. Oh, Nikki, you're so cute. Nikki's so cute. And she's married now. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this, this definitely has pear in it. And I love, love, love um, the pear notes in um, perfumes. I'm, I'm a sweet, oh, I like sweet fragrances. Sweet, sexy, and I wear them everywhere and I don't care if it's not an occasion. But I also like fresh. I, I like them all, but oh wow, that's good. Mm. Okay, this is good. This is great. I paid 26 for this. 26 on Fragrance X. And these are the only two scents I got from Fragrance X. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I would say it's a fresh, fruity scent. Lip prop, perfect for spring. Like, I can't wait to wear this. Damn, I want to... Sorry, I'm trying not to cuss on this channel. Hopefully that 
isn't that big of a deal. The D word. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm, it smells good. Okay. If you guys want to know a full review on this one, let me know. It's fresh. It's fruity. Some floral notes in it, but mostly I get pear. Oh, also, I live in Alaska and it's been really cold outside. So sometimes I feel like when I first get them, the fragrance isn't like what it actually smells like because it's been freezing outside my door. So that could also be. Um, they, they do. They also change. So. <laughs> All right, I am just organizing. Okay guys, now let's open the big boy from FragranceNet.com. I love FragranceNet. Literally, don't use them unless you have a 30% off coupon because they're everywhere. Sometimes they even offer it to you on their channel. And if you're like a first time buyer, they offer a 37% um, discount. Yeah, so don't ever make a purchase without a coupon, for real. <laughs> so I got the Fragrance X um, box like three days ago and I was just like, I need to open it. I need to open it. But I saved it for you guys. Ooh. I'm glad I did this paper, paper, paper galore. Receipts galore. You know. <laughs> what was like a promotion galore. Okay, anyways. Let's get to the good, good. The bomb, bomb. Yes. Woo! Okay, there's five fragrances in here. And three of them I've tried. Two of them are blind buys that I got because they were super duper cheap. And they seemed like they'd be great fresh, uh, fresh spring scents. So, let's go into one I already knew, know I will love. <laughs> Versace Pore Femme Dylan Blue. I tried this one in um, a Sephora favorites box, you know, where you can sample and then trade it in for a full price of fragrance. And, oh, I love it. It smells like the best shampoo in the whole wide world. Yes. And, oh, I think this would be great for spring and I could literally wear this every day everywhere that's just what i feel like anyway let me fix my hair it seems like you guys really care what people look like on youtube i mean i know i do but i tried to you know dress up today if you didn't notice anyways the bottle is cute as hell cute as hell now let's spray this baby oh i already know what it smells like i want to spray it on me do i want to smell like this today yes yes i do Do I love green apple? Is that what's... Guys, I haven't been looking up the notes. I think there's green apple in here. It smells like a bomb Aussie hairspray. Do you guys know how bomb Aussie smells? But like, you know, better since it's not hairspray. Oh, sheesh. Guys, this is so good. Oh my, you guys need to smell this. It's fruity, it's fresh. Mmm. I feel like it's a little sexy. A lot of people disagree. Okay, okay, that's, I think that's enough. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. If you guys would like a full review on this, let me know. Dylan Blue. Oh, I paid 65 for the full bottle. Um, at Sephora, they charge like oh, 100, so. And for a one ounce, it was only $45 off Fragrance Net. So do it, fragrancenet.com or fragrance.com. I've been going to fragrancenet.com, so that's why I say it that way, but I think you can go to the website either way. Oh, yes. Is there, a, is there woody notes in here? 
I'll post the notes. Yes, there we go. I'll post the notes for all these perfumes. Oh, man, it smells so good. Mm. Oh, love. Love in a bottle, baby. <laughs> Austin Powers. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Dolce Garden by Dolce & Gabbana. This is great. I got a I tested it at Sephora. Ooh, and I think I don't know if it would be better for spring or summer. But it's fruity, a floral. Is it fruity? Yes. It's, I feel like it smells like pineapples. Let's see. I don't remember. Now all I can smell is the Sachi's Bill and Blue. The box is cute, classy, like all I think, like all their other Dolce. Um, perfumes. The bottle is so cute and pink and hopefully you can see that. Yeah. But honestly, I feel like the bottle doesn't match the juice. Like it's pink. I feel like the juice smells yellow because I did tell you, it's, I think it smells like pineapples. I still have the little sample in my, um, my closet. Hmm. Mm. Yes, oh, it smells so good. Floral. Mm. Mm -mm. It smells so good. It doesn't smell like a garden to me. I feel like it smells more tropical. But it smells a little different than it does inside. Like I said, they don't smell the same when they're cold, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Ooh. Mm. I, I feel like when I first smelled it, I smelled like there was, there was frangipani in it, but I don't smell it now. And I, I felt like earlier when I smelled it too, it smelled, it's just a whole, this is not what I was expecting. Maybe my nose is different today. I'm not sick anymore, so. I still like it. It still smells good. Very floral. Very sweet. I like me. <laughs> okay, and then I kind of. <gasps> mm, I don't like that. This accidentally got cut. So, backstory before I show you this, I wore, I had, I used to do fragrance oils when I was younger because I was, you know, I was too cheap. There was this like, this hood, um, like swap meet, S and D Mart in South Sacramento. If you guys, if any of you guys live in Sacramento, you guys will know what I'm talking about and are my age. It was like, it was like the hood swap meet that just was always open 24 hours. And they sold, and that's kind of like when I first got into fragrances, they sold um, fragrance oils. And I swear to you, I bought um, a Dolce & Cabana oil, like, but they're not. They're just like, they smell like other fragrances. And the Beyonce Heat oil, and the Beyonce Heat oil was just magnifique. Magnifique, magnifique. So... I bought it again. I don't think it's a spring scent, but it was only $11. Oh, also, I think I got this for around $36, $36. All correct. Everything in the captions and the description, if you'd like to know more or yeah. So I got Beyonce Heat cause it was 10 bucks. I literally like, I'm kind of upset because Fragrance Net and um, Fragrance X don't let you, you know, um, sort items like by price, which is like my favorite thing to do because I want to see what's cheap. Okay. So I literally have to just go through everything and check the price. But I saw my Beyonce Heat in there and it was only 11 bucks. 11 bucks. 11 bucks. This thing smelled amazing. I hope it smells like how I remembered. Because if it doesn't, I mean, I have the bottle now. It's too late, but 
I'm hoping it does. And no, it doesn't. <laughs> it does not smell. Oh, I wonder, cause I have heat rush and that smells like the fragrance oil that I got from a long time ago. So I wonder if whoever was naming it or I just forgot that that was actually heat rush and not their original heat. Mm, this is more spicy, spicy and sweet. I wonder if it will dry down differently on your skin. Mm, I'll do a full review on this one. Actually, it still smells good. Yeah, it still smells good for 11 bucks. But honestly, if you like sweet fragrances for 11 bucks, get the um, Heat Rush. I like Heat Rush better. Oh, nope. It is the same. Okay, you just had to let the alcohol fragrance go. Okay, it's just, oh yes, it's the same. It's sweet and sexy. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm not, my nose is not trained to know a lot of notes. What notes can I tell you? I know gardenia, I know jasmine, I know orange, <laughs> lemon, um, lavender. Um, so I will list all the notes. I, I, it's my goal to become more keen on the notes. So that will happen. Just, um, you know, stick with me. I'm growing. And maybe you can see me get better at this. Okay, now the next two are blind buys. Blind buys, blind buys, blind buys. I saw them on... No, I only saw this one. Moschino, Moschino. Moschino. I don't know how you say it. I love love. There you go, there you go. I saw this one on a lot of YouTubers. Um channels for fresh scents and it was only $25. I think I got it for less. Like I said, everything in captions and description will be corrected. So I think I got it for less, but I'll let you know. But I'm actually really excited about this one. $25 for a full bottle. Come on, come on. You know you you know I had to do it. You know I had to do it. Okay, okay, okay come out the bottom more easily for me. Oh, that's cute. That's a heart. That's very cute. It doesn't look as cute when other people are opening it in their videos. Sorry, here's the on top. I love love. I actually like the bottle. I thought it was kind of tacky online, but. Okay, it's a little alcoholish. Oranges, zest, fresh, just fresh. Mm. Fresh, 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 fresh. It's like invigorating. Like smell, when you wanna wake up, this would be like a great gym scent. It smells clean, nice and clean, not trying too hard which is my favorite kind of scent, other than trying way too hard. <laughs> anyway, I just talk for free. I feel like I'm never making any sense. Okay, and the next one, and I'm kind of upset that it wasn't wrapped because it's supposed to be new. Hmm. There was no cellophane over this. Please tell me, fragrance experts, if it doesn't have cellophane on it, did they jit me? Well, it doesn't matter. I only paid 15 bucks for this red Versace red jeans. I was, so the way I got the, how I discovered this one was just literally um, going through fragrance.com and going like most pop, sorry, going like selecting um, sort by most popular and just going through all of them. And this one was only 16 bucks. So, you know, I was like, oh, let me find out some more about this one. And then doing a little research that it was a very, very popular scent in the 90s. And I was born in the 90s, 91 to be exact. Anyway, that's not why I got it, but 
it had a lot of great reviews on fragrance net so let's give this bad boy a shot okay it's really alcoholish and actually i don't know if it's just i shouldn't have sprayed that Whew, let me spray a piece of cardboard okay I think there's Lily of the Valley in this too. I really like Lily of the Valley. Mm. It's more creamy than I thought it was gonna be, but I like it. There's like a little creaminess, fresh, fruity, mostly fresh, a little fruity and a little creamy. <laughs> Hopefully. That makes sense to you guys. It's 16 bucks. You guys should actually try this one. I feel like it'll um, smell better on the skin. So if you guys want to know more about this one, let me know. I will um, test these out and get a little bit more acquainted with them and share with you more about them on my spring collection video, which will be coming up very shortly. Maybe next week after this is posted. Hmm. Oh, I love this. And it's actually very familiar. I wonder if my mom had this. I'm gonna ask my mom. Mom, have you had this? Yes, I have. Okay, that was stupid. Mmm, mmm. Guys, you guys know how perfume just makes you like, can just change your mood. Like you was feeling ugly, not cute. Then you go spray yourself and, sorry, I didn't, I didn't spray myself for because I wanted to be able to smell what's on this. Oh, mmm. No, oh, Dylan Blue, great. Okay, everything was great. But you know I was really excited for this one. Mm. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope I gave kind of useful information. Oh, oh, I have one more. So, you know, I got my boyfriend something for Valentine's Day. Um, eccentric Molecule, Molecule 04. And he said I could open it for my video, so I am. Um, I had the tester for this and 01, and I liked 01, but I feel like this, this one for a man, my boy run, would be more like sexy. Um, I think it's like the, basically like the molecules that smell like sandalwood. And you know it said that rich people smell like sandalwood, so, you know, I'm just trying to create my boyfriend's future for him. Oh, is that normal that it doesn't come with a lid? Which is actually fine. Oh, the bottle's cute. Oh, oh it's just so sexy. Oh, this atomizer is not good either on this. Oh, I love this. Molecule 04. Yes, sandalwood. And that's it. If you guys haven't tried any of the essential eccentric molecules, they're pretty cheap. Not pretty cheap. They're like 60 bucks around 60 bucks on um fragrance net. So they're very popular. You guys can search up tons of videos on them. Oh, I love that. They're really good for layering. I feel like I want to spray it on me right now. But I won't. My boyfriend just wanted to open it for you guys. Anyway, oh, yes. Okay, maybe I just bought this for myself. <laughs> well, oh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something that might be useful instead of just smelling things. Hmm, I forgot. It was really useful. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot, guys, I forgot, I forgot. Oh. Mm. Okay. I think I'm gonna be wearing this one more often. Yes. Mm. Yeah, guys. Um, save your money. Well, you know, and plus, like I said, Alaska, we don't have a lot of options, so I kind of gotta buy it online. But I always like. I'll test it out in the store and I'll like search it online. If it's cheaper online, I'll just wait to do that. 
Oh, I smell good. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for um, wasting your time with me, not investing your time with me in my channel. Um, yeah, if you want to know more, comment. Yeah, okay. I'm just like pretending a song is playing in my head even though it's really not. I'm like pressing the button to turn it off, but it's not working. Okay, I'm just gonna press the stop button.